This is how we do it in Portugal, baby. Welcome to my home, guys. I'm gonna throw a fish here. We start skating at this mini ramp. Why are you looking at police? I love pressure. Crooks no only flip. Yo, I got my run in my mind, you know? And I got 9.6. Nine I was like super emotional. I'm a dreamer. So we are on the way to catch up a friend, and then we're gonna eat some street spots with the Mente guys. Let's see what happens. <laughs> All the friends here, like chilling, skating, filming some tricks. Sister Matilde, this is my little sister Pilar, and this is the medium sister Maria. But I know that's my stepdad, <laughs> and that's my mom. <laughs> <laughs> big family, big family, huh? <laughs> that's my room. I split with my twin brother. I like stay with my all my brothers because I have a big family. So I start skating when my uncle gave me a skate in the Christmas. Desde os quatro anos foi o skate, o skate, o skate. E a partir daí nunca mais largaram o skate. My parents, since the day one, like they support me a lot. They just want to like me and my bro just having fun and they just enjoying. That's my favorite one. I got a tattoo here. Because like that was my first pro model. Like as you can see, I was like, yo, I'm gonna tattoo on my first pro model. I started skating contests when I was six. So we went to Banda Skate Contest, and on the first contest, I got third. Yeah, and my bro, he won. This is for sure my favorite trophy ever. When I won Tom Pam. More trophies here. <laughs> That's my room, guys. So guys, we are going to Banda Skate Shop right now. It's the first skate shop in Portugal, and also my first skate sponsor. So if you guys are in Portugal and you want to buy something, this is the place. Gustavo e o irmão, o Gabriel, tinham oh, sete anos. Eram os dois gêmeos, iguais. Passado muitos anos já é família, já não é patrocínio. Claro que é muito bom para nós e para os miúdos pequenos, porque têm um ídolo. Ou seja, eles podem ver que podem chegar lá também, assim como o Gustavo chegou e agora neste momento está em segunda, em terceira do Mundial. Não é impossível. So guys, so we went to catch up my twin brother at the train station. He's already in Lisbon. So right now we're going to one of the first skate parks in Portugal. Basically, the skate park we learn everything. We start skating at this mini ramp. Like this mini ramp, like was, I don't know, it was really good, and like we we start learning like all the basic stuff. Remember, we always do like back to backs, like ollie ollie. I remember frontside ollie on a pyramid. So it's sick to be here with my bro. Family, Family bro. right here! <laughs> We're going to Praça da Figueira. Classic OG spot.
go like lunch together and go skate together, go beach together. We do all together. Ambos beneficiaram imenso, porque um puxava pelo outro, um aprendia uma manobra e o outro queria aprender a manobra. My dad and my mom talk with each other like, so okay, let's go to this contest in Switzerland. Let's do it different way. Era uma aventura. Alugámos uma autocaravana e antes de chegar à Suíça, percorremos um pouco os skate parks de Espanha e de França. And we go all together, like me, my brother, and my two sisters. I'm for Suíça. For me, that's the best trip we did. And I don't know, I'll get like all stoked because like it was a super different experience for me and for my bro and for sure to my family. I remember like being there like, damn, I'm, I'm in a European contest, like this is different, like... O irmão já conseguiu uh, uh, ficar em primeiro lugar e o Gustavo ficou em terceiro lugar. E eu acho que essa foi a primeira saída em que eles chegaram e diziam, mãe, eu quero viajar, eu quero sair de Portugal, eu não quero ficar em Portugal os dois. Eu quero ir para os Estados Unidos, eu quero passear, eu quero viver do skate. So guys, good morning. We are going to the tattoo place right now. I'm going to get a tattoo. The tattoo guy is one of my really good friends. He's an artist too. So just let's check it out. Ow! It's super hot today, so we're going to check our spot by the beach. And I'm gonna see if I can get something. This is how we do in Portugal, baby. <laughs> My bro used to win every contest. Uh, I was get like maybe fourth or third or second. And then I remember when I was like maybe 13, I went to LA with my bro for Volcom in the Parks and I get second on, on this contest. I was like, damn, this is actually sick. Like, I'm in LA. I was going to sleep and like, I, I can't sleep because I was just thinking like, okay, if I want to do this in, to my life, I need to leave Portugal for a couple months. And I remember like me, like with 14, just go just by myself to LA for like three months. Didn't know nobody, didn't talk nothing of English. It was like really hard for me in the beginning. This was a, a really good moment to, to start learning more about life, about what I need to do to get better. So I remember I came to Portugal, I started skating, 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 skating. I remember go to the skate park and do like 100 flip front boards. This afternoon, I need to learn these three tricks. If I didn't learn, I was get like really mad and really sad. I went home and just cry all night because I don't learn, like I didn't learn a new trick. Like feel bad, talk about this, but it's who I am, it's who I am. What's up guys, we are going to Mental Warehouse. It's a company and also a group of friends. Let's check it out. Oh, Emilio. Hello. Imenta is my skateboarding family. Imenta in Portuguese is menu. Wake up, skate, and eat. That's the menu. So we were just doing stickers, putting stickers on the boards, writing on the grip tape. After this, like we were talking, talking like maybe we should do something like more serious, you know, like like an actual company and start growing. Rafa is the the first guy. Put everyone together. He's the team manager. He's the brand manager. He he's the brain behind everything. Yeah, I skated Imenta for like four years, and now I'm uh, on business team on Imenta. So I want to help Rafa and you to grow Imenta because I have, I see a big potential on Imenta. Imenta for me, it's a family. That's for me, Imenta. I love the media. Here we're going to EBM. Bruno's gonna skate. I'm gonna just watch. Let's see what happens. Hundred bucks, first try, front side flip. I got 20 euros. And half, I got another 100, right? Yeah. Yes. First try. First try, front side flip. Let's try. Não, não, não. 
Doing skating with Gustavo is sick because it pushed me to skate more and give me motivation. We are on my local bar, We're really close to my home. I think this game is going to be really easy for me. I love skate cones. I love competition. I f love pressure because, like, that's the moment. Or you do and you win, or you fail and you not win. Okay, for 10 p.m., I was like crazy in my mind. I was like crazy. So like three months before 10 p.m., I started like practice, like every, every morning, every day. Sometimes I was going to the skate park before school, even early in the morning, and then I was going again to the skate park uh, when I was finished. I remember like watching all the 10 p.m.s on YouTube every day, repeat and repeat and repeat. Every day the same contest, study everything, you know? He took all photocopies, and he put like all the photos and tried to do like, Okay, this is my run. I, I start from here. He'll do this. Here, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Q. Trade flip, flip. Back tree flip. Crooks nollie flip. Yo, I got my run in my mind, you know. Like I was like, I'm going to win Tampa. I'm going to win Tampa. I'm going to win Tampa. I, I put this in my mind, and I, I was telling every day to my mom, Mom, if I win Tampa, I'm going to finish my school. Like I'm not going anymore to the school. Quero focar para os Jogos Olímpicos. Quero ir para a Street League. E quero deixar a escola completamente em stand-by. E eu, ah, pronto, então. <laughs> I was like, yeah, okay, okay, whatever, but first you need to win and then we talk about this. I was saying to everyone, yo, I'm gonna win Tampa M. All my friends know this. And I went there and I won. And I was like, damn, this actually happened. That's <laughs> up. And since that day, I was thinking, like, if I put something in my mind and if I work, for this, and I can do it. I remember watching Shane and Nigel like, damn, one day I'm going to skate with these guys. Tu vais ver se eu daqui a uns anos não vou estar a skatear ao lado do Nigel na Street League. Na cabeça dele, isto era um objetivo. And I got the pass to the Street League Pro Open. Gustavo Ribeiro, this kid knows how to skate a contest. Damn, one of my dreams was like winning Tampa I am. I won. And my other dream is like skating SLS, and I'm going to SLS. And I remember like went to London, skate the Pro Open, passing third place to the normal qualifications. I remember I passed to the semifinals, and I was like, damn, this actually is gonna happen. Damn, bro, I'm in, I'm I'm on the finals right now. And like, then I went to the finals, and I, I I was can't feel my legs because I was too tired. So I got last place on the finals. As I was sad because I knew I can have a podium on the first time I skate SLS, but like, I was stoked because it was my first street league and I make finals. So like, why I'm gonna be sad? I need to be proud of me. I went to London after a year, same place, same area, and it was like a throwback for me. It was like, I don't know, this contest was really important for me because my favorite skaters is Shane O'Neill and Niger. And Shane got third, I got second, and Nigel got first. Shane by my side, Nigel by my side, and I'm with the trophy too. So it's like, damn, bro, it's like, I don't know, it's like a dream come true. So on SLS Brazil last year, the Super Crown one, I was going to the finals. Gustavo Ribeiro is in. First time I tried the Crooks only flip. Crooks. You nolly flip first try. And I just, I just started like, ah! just... I landed. And it was like the best feeling ever. Whoa. Respond. And I got 9.6. 9 point six. Nine club, nine point six. So like everyone started clapping like. 
I was feeling I'm on a football stadium. I was like super emotional. Now I need to win because I already got third place. I already got second place. Now I need to get the first place. Yeah, I'm going to the physio right now. I'm going here every day. I'm going to link with Antonio Gaspar. That's my physiotherapist. I feel a little bit of pain in my feet, so I'm going to work out a little bit. And yeah, let's go. Come with me, guys. Last year on the street league, Sao Paulo, I <laughs> my knee. And I started talking with Antonio. He asked me, like, yo, what do you want to do in your life? Yo, I want to be, like, the best. I want to work hard. I want to have someone beside me, like, support me. Like, And since I'm with um, Antonio Gaspar, I go every morning, from Monday to Friday. I, I, por norma, venho aqui todos os dias. Às vezes faz uma coisa mais física, outras vezes faz um trabalho de prevenção. Quando tem algum problema, como foi o que foi hoje, tinha um problema no pé, resolvemos o problema do pé. Aqui conseguimos a, a resultados de forma a dar uma melhor performance de todas as suas vertentes físicas e neuromusculares do dia e de prevenção. Sou Ronaldo, eu te chamo como Ronaldo. Ele é fã do Cristiano Ronaldo. I love Cristiano Ronaldo because he used to have nothing. He started playing football and now he's the best of the world. E o Cristiano Ronaldo dizia muito, para chegar lá acima não interessa o talento. O talento é uma ínfima parte, interessa realmente a forma como nós vamos lá chegar. O Cristiano é uma inspiração, mas eu diria que o Cristiano é uma inspiração para todos os jovens que estão a começar a sua carreira. Porque, de facto, ele é, ele é um ser único, uma perspectiva de concentrar no seu trabalho, de focado, de mentalidade, de querer sempre superar-se e fazer melhor. Por isso, tem que se trabalhar, tem que se continuar uh, todos os dias a melhorar e a suplantar-se cada vez mais, que é um bocadinho o que ele é, e nesse aspecto ele é uma inspiração para o Gustavo. Se os cristianos podem, por que eu não posso? So like everyone can do everything, but you need to have mindset, you need to focus, you need to really work hard. Eles têm uma coisa em comum que é próprio das pessoas que têm, que são gênios na sua arte. E esta característica acho que é muito comum aos dois. For me, skateboarding, to be honest, is my life. Because I can see me living without skateboarding. Em todos os pequenos momentos que o Gustavo consegue alcançar algum resultado, Ficamos muito felizes e eu fico muito feliz porque é a vida dele, eu digo. Isto é o sonho dele. I remember like me as a kid like having like a lot of dreams, like winning Tampa I already won, skating street league I already skated, have a podium street league I already have a podium street league. And I already have like a lot of dreams done. So like it's it's sick to think about it. E pronto, e é verdade, e nós ficamos orgulhosíssimos disso, não é? Porque eu acho que é mesmo assim. Acho que eles têm que descobrir um, o caminho deles e... I have a lot of dreams, I have a lot of dreams. I'm a dreamer. All right, you guys already know a little bit about me, my story, my family, my life, my city, where I was born. So, hope you guys like it and join me on the next episode. We are in San Sebastian, Spain right now. Look at all this. Damn!